So thinking about the shape of your dissertation, you start, you've got to imagine it being a bit like a funnel. So it starts at the top, we're very general in your introductory section, and then you move into the more specifics of your topic. Then you get into the methods and the results, and then the discussion section, you're moving out from the, the specific, uh, from the specific more to the general. So you're trying to generalize your findings to something bigger than your project itself. So imagine the shape of the dissertation to be like a funnel. So I've got a little task for you to do now. I want you to spend about 10 minutes noting down the purposes of the four sections in your dissertation. So the first one, the introductory section, so that's including background information and a literature review. And then what goes in the methods section? What goes in the results section? And what would you find in the discussion? So these are the kind of things that I thought should go in the different sections. So the introductory section often provides a rationale for your dissertation. So why are you doing it? What's it about? Then it moves from a very general overview of the topic to the specifics of the question that you're going to cover. In the method, you're looking to describe the methodology. So how did you go about doing your research? What materials did you use or what subjects? So what people and what procedures did you follow? In the results section, you have to describe your findings, and there you'll accompany that by a commentary. And then in the discussion, you have the chance to offer an increasingly generalised account as what has been found in your study. So you're kind of going over again what you've said, but making it more general to the wider area of your discipline.